Welcome back to my channel, it's Kay Zane. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make digital party invitations to sell on Etsy. We're gonna be using Canva to do this and there are three components you need to know. One, we'll make the digital invitation. Two, we'll make the deliverable file. And then three is where I see people struggle the most, making good mock-ups. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video so you can make some good listing photos. Let's dive right in. Come on over to Canva and make a custom size design of 1080 by 1920 pixels. When it comes to designing your invitation, you always want to start from a blank page. Do not use the Canva pre-made templates over here and just change some things up and then sell it. That's stealing someone else's intellectual property and we're not going to do that. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to designing your templates is to only use the free Canva fonts and elements. So the little crown means that it's a pro font, and so you're not going to use these. One, you might run into licensing issues if you use the pro stuff. And then two, not all customers will have Canva Pro, so they'll have to pay for each Canva Pro font and element that you use in your design, and they will not be happy about any additional cost. So just stick to the free stuff. I'm going to design a quick invite and then come back. Okay, now that we have our invitation done, we're going to download the image as a PNG file. Share, download, PNG. Now we're gonna drag and drop this back into Canva. Head back over to the home page of Canva and create a new custom design of 3000 by 2400 pixels. So when you're making your listing photos, definitely go over to Etsy and see what the competition looks like. So we see a lot of them with the hand. So I'm just showing it on the phone. Pretty backgrounds with lace, the pompous grass. Okay, so come over back to Canva and let's try to get the hand mock-up. I think you're definitely going to need Canva Pro for this. If you don't already have it, I'll have the 30-day free trial link down below. But let's look up phone mock-up. No, holding phone. The problem I have with this kind of mock-up is that the phone doesn't have a crisp rectangle edge. So I'll show you why I don't love that. because it looks bad. <laughs> so since it's not rectangular, it just doesn't fit well into the phone. So we're gonna try to find a mock-up that has the crisp rectangle edge. So back to elements, let's just look up phone mock-up. Let's go to graphics. Okay, you see how this has the crisp rectangle? That's what we want. So we're gonna just drag that and place it over, bring it to the front and place it in there. Okay, that looks good. And so now we're gonna drag this over this phone. So it looks like the hand is holding it like that. Looks great. We can even group this together so we could just easily move it all around as one piece. Now we're gonna add a background photo and I'm literally just gonna type in pretty background. You don't wanna pick anything that's like too busy and like this, like that's definitely gonna take away from actually looking at your product. You want people's focus to be on the product first. So we wanna get something that's not too crazy in the background. Not loving that. Let's go with this. So this could be your thumbnail photo and let's just make another one. 
we're going to ungroup this. Let's remove the hand. And you definitely need to let people know that they'll be editing this on Canva. So let's just add a square or a rectangle. And then for my listing photos, I always, always add the this is a digital product listing photo because people just tend to be confused sometimes. And so we just want to minimize that as much as possible. And these would be your listing photos. You could play around with the background more like this. And people always say, like, if you can't use Pro stuff in your templates, why do you need Canva Pro? I like that you can use all of these different stock photos. You have so many more options with stock photos when you have Canva Pro. So that's just one big benefit to having the Pro account. So then you would download these as PNGs as well to upload to Etsy. So let's download these. Share, download as PNGs. And then the last step is to make the file that you'll actually upload to Etsy. Because remember, this is a template, so you need to share the Canva template link with the customers. So we're going to come back over to Canva and create a custom design of 8.5 by 11 inches. We're going to come back over to our invitation design, come to share, and then come to template link and copy that. Now back on our new design, let's add some words. So thank you for your order. I personally like to add the image of what they just bought. So let's add that. I'm gonna add a shadow. With the new Canva editor, you, you have to like go back to the old one because shadows for some reason is not in the new editor. So we're gonna go back, edit image, and now we can add the shadow again. Add another text box and say, click here to access your template. Now we're going to link this. So come to these three dots, go to link and paste in the template link. If you're feeling fancy down here, you can put some links to related products in your shop or give customers a coupon code to encourage them to buy more from you. But we're just going to keep it simple. And so now we're going to give this a customer friendly name because customers are going to like actually see the words you put here. So don't put anything crazy. So we'll just put engagement, party, invite, download this as a PDF print. You could do RGB since it's only going to be for digital use. Final step, let's go over to Etsy so I can just show you where everything will go. This is actually my first time uploading to Etsy in a minute, and so I haven't seen this new listing interface yet. So I guess we'll explore this together. Um, first step is we are going to have to apparently come to add core details and then change it back to the old version because you can't add digital files with this new version yet. So I'm gonna click this. And now it takes us back to the old listing form. Cool. Okay. So this is what we're all used to. So we're going to come to the listing photos and add in your, your listing photos. Fill in your title. You made it. It's a finished product. Made it in 2023. Change the type to digital. And then come down here. And this is where you would upload that deliverable file we just made. Of course, fill in the other stuff, your tags, your description titles, make sure you're putting in different keywords, and then you would publish your listing. I hope you found this tutorial valuable. If you did, I have seven more tutorials just like this showing you how to make the most popular products on Etsy in my Extra Income with Printables course. I have that linked in my description. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to make some passive income on Etsy. I will talk to you next time. Bye!